Welcome to today's tutorial, where I'm thrilled to take you through an in-depth journey on how to craft compelling and free Reddit videos using the versatile CapCut Video Editor. This session is not just about video creation, it's also about unlocking the potential to earn a remarkable income through your creative efforts. We'll cover every aspect, from crafting captivating stories, producing high-quality free voiceovers, to designing eye-catching captions, all geared towards propelling your content to viral status. Let's get into it. Let's first lay the groundwork by understanding what Reddit videos are all about. These videos are a unique blend of storytelling and digital creativity, primarily featuring narratives shared by the vibrant community of the Reddit app. They have a significant presence across numerous social media platforms. Typically, these videos incorporate engaging gameplay footage from popular games such as Minecraft, Subway Surfers, and GTA V. Among these, Minecraft often emerges as the top choice. These videos have found a welcoming audience on major social media platforms, including YouTube, Instagram, Snapchat, and TikTok, where they garner extensive viewership and engagement. In my thorough exploration across various Reddit categories, I've pinpointed that creepypasta stories, known for their intriguing and sometimes spine-chilling content, draw massive attention. Leveraging this insight, I'll guide you on crafting Reddit videos that mirror this popular genre using the easily accessible CapCut Online Video Editor. I will put a link down in the description for your convenience. Now, let's delve into the anatomy of a Reddit video. These videos typically have six essential components. A distinct comment frame, an engaging story sourced from a Reddit community, immersive gameplay footage, a clear and expressive voiceover, readable captions, and a captivating Dreamcore music track playing subtly in the background. Our first task is to create the comment frame for the Reddit segments. Understanding the challenge of finding suitable templates online, I have pre-designed a versatile frame in Photoshop for your convenience. This blank frame is available for download via the link in the video description, saving you time and hassle. With the frame ready, the next exciting phase is customizing it to align perfectly with your unique content style. This step is crucial in making your video distinct and memorable. I will walk you through each customization option, ensuring that by the end of this tutorial, you not only grasp the technical aspects of video creation, but also understand the nuances of creating content that resonates with your audience and holds potential for monetization. It's time to debunk a common misconception about Reddit stories. Contrary to popular belief, not all viral Reddit creepypasta stories originate from Reddit itself. My extensive research has uncovered a surprising source for many of these tales, a website named creepypasta.com. This platform is a treasure trove of eerie stories and mysterious narratives, with some extending over 15 minutes, providing a rich arsenal for content creators. Our strategy involves sifting through the latest top-rated stories on creepypasta.com. Once we identify a captivating story, we will amplify its appeal for our video. How do we achieve this? By transforming the narrative into a first-person story using the innovative capabilities of ChatGPT. This AI tool enables us to reframe the story, making it appear as a personal experience, thereby enhancing its relatability and engagement potential for our viewers. Following writing the script, our attention shifts to selecting appropriate gameplay backgrounds. While a generic approach involves scouring YouTube for non-copyright gameplay footage, I've simplified this step for you. I have curated an exclusive collection of Minecraft parkour clips and stored them in a Google Drive folder. This compilation is available for you to download, as indicated in the video description, offering a hassle-free way to enhance your video's visual appeal. Stay tuned as I guide you through each of these steps, ensuring that you not only learn the technical skills needed for video creation, but also gain insights into the art of storytelling and audience engagement in the digital era. By the end of this tutorial, you'll be well equipped to create captivating Reddit videos that not only engage, but also have the potential to go viral, opening avenues for significant earnings. 
proceeding to the next stage in our video making journey, we'll engage with the CapCut Online Video Editor, a versatile and user-friendly platform. Begin by integrating the blank template you've prepared earlier along with the Minecraft gameplay footage. This combination sets the visual foundation for your Reddit video. Next, craft a text box within the editor. This is where you'll display the title of your selected creepypasta.com story. Extract the title directly from the story and embed it into your Reddit post frame. I've opted to retain the default font within the text box as it harmonizes seamlessly with the typical Reddit post aesthetic, adding an authentic touch to the video. Adding a voiceover introduces an audio element to your video, enhancing viewer engagement. To do this, first, generate a text box within CapCut. Here, paste a snippet of the story you've transformed through ChatGPT. This procedure is vital as the text-to-speech tool in CapCut has limitations regarding the volume of text it can process simultaneously. After inserting the text for the initial segment of your story, utilize the text-to-speech feature available on the interface's left side to generate your voiceover. I've conducted extensive tests on the various voice options provided and concluded that the male scientist voice offers the most suitable narration tone for Reddit-based stories. This process should be replicated for each segment of your narrative, ensuring a consistent and engaging voiceover throughout the video. If you don't like any of the CapCut voices, there is a paid alternative. Eleven Labs is one of the greatest text-to-speech tools and offers a variety of different voices that you can use. I will put a link down in the description for your convenience. Now, we transition to the crucial phase of exporting your creation. It's imperative to double-check and fine-tune your settings before this step. Personally, I configure the resolution to a crisp 1080p, optimize the quality settings for high definition, and set the frame rate at a smooth 60fps, ensuring a visually appealing output. Feel free to name your video according to your preference before proceeding to export it. The next step involves the addition of captions, a critical element in enhancing the video's accessibility and engagement. While the desktop version of CapCut provides an option to auto-generate captions, it has its limitations in terms of template variety. Therefore, I recommend using the CapCut mobile app for this task. Upon opening the app, upload your recently exported video. Navigate to the text option, followed by auto captions. Here you'll be presented with an array of caption templates, including complementary options, offering you the flexibility to select a style that resonates with your video's theme. My personal preference leans towards a dynamic style where captions emerge word by word on the screen, capturing the viewer's attention. Initiate this feature and the app will automatically generate the captions for you. Your involvement with the captions doesn't end here. The next step is to strategically position them in your video. Centering the captions on the screen is typically effective, but I also suggest slightly enlarging the text size for enhanced readability and impact. Once these adjustments are made, it's time to export your video again, ensuring the frame rate remains at 60 FPS and the bitrate is set high, guaranteeing the best quality for your final product. With the captions in place, your video is now more comprehensive and accessible. Let's shift our focus to the music aspect of your video. Most Reddit stories employ a distinct genre of music known as Dreamcore, characterized by its immersive and ethereal qualities. Through my exploration on platforms like TikTok, I've identified several tracks that embody the essence of Dreamcore. One notable example is the Undertale OST Fallen Down, a track often modified with a slower tempo and enhanced reverb to fit the mood of Reddit stories. You can easily obtain this track or similar ones by converting YouTube videos to MP3 format. Once you have your chosen MP3 file, revisit the CapCut online video editor and upload both your video and the audio file. When setting the background music volume, aim for a range between minus 15 and minus 20 dB. This ensures the music complements the video without overpowering the voiceover or other audio elements. Having observed numerous Reddit videos, I've noticed a trend towards similarity in visual presentation. To make our video stand out from the masses, we'll incorporate a series of images. 
access the Photos section in CapCut to explore a diverse range of imagery options. Since the captions are already in place, you can now focus on selecting images that align with specific words or phrases in your narrative. For instance, when the narration mentions reading, you could introduce an image of someone looking on their phone. This technique of matching images with text not only enhances the visual storytelling, but also reinforces the narrative's key points. Apply this method throughout your video for a more engaging and visually dynamic presentation. Once you complete these steps and finalize your video, it's primed for uploading. To give you a glimpse of what we've accomplished, let's preview the video I created titled I worked at a top secret government research lab. I need to share my journals. Ad boy worked at a top secret government research lab. I need to share my journals. In the clandestine records of senior technical operations specialist. In the creation of the video, I made a strategic choice to not use the Dreamcore music due to potential copyright complications. Instead, I opted for an alternative musical track that aligns well with the video's mood and theme. You'll notice that at the end of the video, I mentioned making a part two and asking viewers to follow me. The decision to mention a sequel in the video is a deliberate one, aimed at increasing viewer curiosity and anticipation. This technique is particularly effective as it taps into the audience's natural curiosity, encouraging them to follow for the next upload. It's like a cliffhanger which they use all the time in movies and series. The extensive and varied narratives available on creepypasta.com make this approach quite easy to do. By segmenting these elongated stories into smaller, digestible parts, you can efficiently create content spanning several days. Moving forward, the next step in our journey is to launch this video on TikTok. Let me guide you through this process. Begin by selecting a song recommended by TikTok, ensuring its volume is set to a mere 1% so you can't hear it. This low volume setting is a crucial aspect as it subtly enhances your video's reach. When titling your video, label it as Part 1 and, in the video description, invite viewers to follow your account for the upcoming Part 2. This strategy is not just about maintaining viewer interest, it's about building a sense of anticipation for your subsequent release. By incorporating three relevant hashtags, you further enhance the visibility and appeal of your video. This methodology ensures that your content remains not only engaging, but also generates excitement for future uploads, keeping your audience eagerly waiting for more. The wealth of material available on creepypasta.com provides an endless reservoir of content possibilities. This abundance ensures that you will never find yourself in a need of storytelling material. So, I encourage you to dive into the creative process, explore the narratives, and begin crafting your own unique videos. With TikTok's newly introduced creativity program, creators are finding new ways to engage and monetize their content. This presents a golden opportunity for aspiring video creators like yourself. As we continue on this creative journey, I plan to develop and share more tutorials to guide and inspire your video creation journey. So, embark on this exciting path, leverage the tools and resources available, and start creating memorable and engaging videos. Good luck and thanks for watching.